Nicholas Dodge here. Today we will talk about the elephant of the Jurassic, Apatosaurus. Its name means deceptive lizard. It was named so because some of its bones resembled those of other reptiles. Apatosaurus lived in the United States during the late Jurassic period, about 150 million years ago. When fully grown, Apatosaurus was up to 75 feet long and weighed around 30 tons. It would have been a sight to behold. Apatosaurus was an herbivore. It had chisel-like teeth, which were designed to strip leaves off branches before swallowing them. For a time, Apatosaurus was known as Brontosaurus, or Thunder Lizard. Brontosaurus was first named by Othniel Charles Marsh in 1879. However, in 1903, Elmer Riggs discovered that Brontosaurus bones were the same as those in Apatosaurus, which Marsh identified earlier in 1877. Since then, Brontosaurus was considered a junior synonym for Apatosaurus. A new study in 2015 shows that there are enough distinctions between one Apatosaurus species from others to justify the name Brontosaurus. Today, Brontosaurus is considered a separate species. Unlike Brachiosaurus, which could hold its neck up high, the neck vertebrae of Apatosaurus were stiffened. This limited the dinosaur's neck mobility, so it couldn't hold its head up high. As a result of this restriction, Apatosaurus and similarly structured sauropods may have been more adapted to browsing on low-growing vegetation. It could sweep the floor for vegetation like a giant vacuum cleaner. The tip of Apatosaurus's tail ended in a whip-like structure. Apatosaurus may have used its tail like an actual whip for defense against predators. It could have also been used for communication. Recent studies suggest sauropods like Apatosaurus could produce a whip-like cracking sound with their tails of over 200 decibels, about as loud as a cannon going off. Another recent study implies that Apatosaurus might have used its neck for defense in combat too. This study shows that the cervical vertebrae of Apatosaurus were built to withstand heavy impacts. This indicates that sauropods may have used their large muscular necks in battle. With ventral processing, the cervical ribs might have supported small spikes on the tips. If Apatosaurus did have these spikes, they would have most likely been used in battling each other. Stay tuned for the next dinosaur. This is Mr. Dodge, signing off.